Hello everybody and welcome to the next video in my FSX Flight Simulation series. Today we're going to be looking at config tweaks and how they can affect your system, how they can help, how they can hurt, and just uh, basically talking about how great they are and some of the other benefits. Uh, today we're using a new recording software using Bandicam for the first time. We'll see how well that goes. <coughs> um. So far, it's been better with frames than fraps, but you got to make sure you have it running in Windows mode, rather or record window rather than uh, full screen DirectX recording because uh, that will take a heavy toll on frames. I actually get better frames with fraps with that. Fraps in the 737, the NGX, I lose about seven, eight frames at the most, but. Uh, Using Bandicam full screen direct X recording, I dropped from about 45 down to 7, even in the external view. So, it's not not great. So, we'll see how much better it does with this. Uh, we'll do the US Airways A320. So, right now I have FSX tweaked to the point. That basically any well, there's nothing else I can do to improve its performance other than upgrading my computer. Well, and adjusting other things, but I don't really want to get into that. So, just leave it out of it. There are a few websites out there. There's Bojati's tweaks, and they'll you can upload your uh, current FSX configuration file configuration file to them, and it'll uh, automatically uh, apply some updates, and then you can download that config and replace it. So that's a pretty nice service. But there's other ones that they don't apply and you have to apply those manually. Something else is if you're already using like FSX Booster, for out, which you can get off FS Pilot Shop, it's a good thing too if you don't want to take the time to apply some of these tweaks yourself. Make sure you're not running that and you, uh, refer you get a new configuration file. You can do that by deleting your old configuration file and starting FSX, it'll create a new blank one for you. But after that, you'll want to uh, apply these tweaks manually, because if you try to run the FSX booster and your own manually applied tweaks, it, it actually is, gets worse. So, just something to keep in mind. I spent the last few days basically just installing add-ons. I have just about everything you could want as a environment add-on for FSX. I still need aircraft, but those are expensive. So, like the Majestic uh, Q400, that'd be nice, but it's sixty dollars and. Considering we're putting out the uh, Pilot Edition, I don't remember what it was called right now. Whatever the next edition is. This isn't too bad. What are we at frames wise? See that with 30 frames? Well, it's fluctuating quite a bit, but. Take it out. Well, um, that's a bit annoying. It's right now. It's well, you can see in the corner there. It's fluctuating quite a bit. I have it capped at 45 uh, via the Nvidia inspector, but I wish it would stay constant. Yes, we get it. Thank you. Thank you. Notice the panning seems kind of choppy, but that's not the video. That's more so uh, with Windows 8. There's a bug right now that you sometimes lose your controller and it won't register anymore, and there's no way to get it back without restarting Flight Simulator. So I just had to set it up. My controller is through FS UI PC, and it works great. I mean, I can still control the flight control services just as I would normally, but panning is a little choppy. 
but that's not much to give up considering I can now fly normally. Okay, uh, it does pretty well. I'm only looking at 37.45, then it drops down to 18. If we could cut out that 18, we'd be golden. That's ugly. Um, that's another tweak, you can just not a config tweak, but uh, if you have NVIDIA cards, you can open up NVIDIA Inspector, uh, find the profile for Flight Simulator, tell it to hold frames, or set the upper frame rate limit at, uh, you can do 35, 35 is good, I have, I have mine locked at 45, but 35 is a good setting, and then set your frames in FSX to unlimited, and that normally gives you a pretty big performance boost. All right, I'm gonna see if I can lock my frames. If I do, if it'll help at all. Thirty-four. For those of you who also have a better internet connection, if you've ever heard of tile proxy, that's another good thing. Uh, you lose your auto gen, or a lot of it, not all of it, but you lose a lot of it. But uh, it gives you photoreal scenery wherever you fly. So, it's a trade off. That's much better. Holding 33, saw it drop to 20 once, but other than that, I haven't seen it drop below 30. There's it, and there it goes. So it looks like 90% of the time it's above 30. Let's see. So that is much better. Uh, not great. Hmm. I think I'm gonna try fla uh, Fraps again, see if I can do any better with that. But um, does Fraps have a Windows mode or windowed? Interesting to find out. I think I'm gonna switch over to the NGX now and see if we can do better in the virtual cockpit with that. Used to be able to get better frames in the Airbus Extended. Then, including the Airbus or the PMDG NGX, but I think it may have switched now. All right, let me switch, and you'll notice that I have way more NGX aircraft than I actually need. Or repaints wise, starts right here, continues all the way down. Here. I have pretty much every livery you could want for the NGX. I'll do the 900. <coughs> I think it's strange. Oh dear. Come on. There we go. So. Oh, uh, it's doing that fluctuating thing. Hopefully it'll stop once the systems are initialized. Holding 33. Occasional down to 25, 18. I haven't actually flown this livery before. Uh, Alright, uh, 33, dropped to 21. I haven't seen it go back down to 18 in a while. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Well, actually, it'll get a little better once the terrain finishes rendering.
It's going to be a terrible ending. So don't judge me on this one. This is just trying to show you guys frames and I haven't really showed you much config tweaks or any tweaks yet other than the uh, frame rate limiter. But Oh, I'm talking about the uh, tile proxy. So yeah, that'll jump up your frames because it'll be getting rid of the uh, sim or the autogen, but the trade. Well, yeah, again, you'll be losing all your autogen. So, well, sorry, I can't even think straight. Not all of you losing a bunch of it. Um, so yeah, you'll make the trade off, but and that only works if you have a good enough internet connection. Because what it is doing is it's not downloading them and permanently storing them on your computer. It's temporarily downloading them. So, it'll be downloading the terrain as you go. I'm not going to stop in time. Oh well. Before the fence, maybe. Right before the edge. Let's see frames in the cockpit now. So, 33.27, jumping during the jump down to 18 again. Uh, here's something where you might want to... Probably actually would be better if I limited it in NVIDIA Inspector rather than than Flight Simulator itself. But that's pretty cool. I never was experimental. Alright. <coughs> I'll show you how to do the config tweaks. Now I'm going to pull up Internet Explorer or whatever you use. I use Chrome because Internet Explorer is terrible. Jeez, FSX config tweaks. It'll be this is Venetubo.com. I'll have it hopefully within the description if I remember. Pull it up. This you say your settings. I have four hyperthreading is active. Speed of mine is 3.4. I have a 650 Ti. I have never actually applied the VSync fix. You can if you want to. I never have. Normal means it'll apply the uh, changes for you. Conservative means it'll tell you what the fixes are you can make, but it won't actually do them. Choose file. No, oh, mine's perfectly set up. But Windows 8, it's users, your username, app data, roaming, Microsoft, and then FSX. And it'll be your FSX config. Once that's selected, click here to begin. It'll tell you the fixes. The green ones are fixes you already have, blue ones are ones you can make. So I, I could make these right now, but haven't yet. And the red ones are ones that you can make as well, but it's not going to apply for you. And then make sure, just remember that when you do this, it doesn't actually make the changes yet. You have to go down here and click download right here to actually get it. And then you can just replace it with an FSX, but... So yeah, um... Let's see, other than the search engine, just basically FSX tweaks. You can spell it right. Uh, the one I looked at here, these are some uh, manual tweaks you can make. I'll put this in the description as well. And this is just this is just how to set it up. And then here's where the config tweaks are. I'll explain to you what they do. This is one. It doesn't really improve your performance, but it, I like it. It gets rid of the red text like for parking brake or slew. Or for instant replay, if you're replaying, that way you can record it without having that in the corner. And then there's uh, other tips from other users down here. But <coughs> that's the basics of it. I'll pull up NVIDIA Inspector now, show you how to do with, what to do with that. I can spell NVIDIA right. Video inspector, run as admin. This should pop up if you have the latest version. This right here is if you want to start overclocking. Um, for those of you using EVGA cards, just keep in mind that they already over are pretty much overclocked to the point, to the maximum point. Overclocking the more isn't isn't a great idea. You can if you have a good cooling system, but just yeah, take caution. So sorry. Click here next to driver version, open up profiles. Up here, 
scroll down to Microsoft and at the very bottom of this there it is Microsoft lets me their X and these are the changes you should make I think that's small hopefully you can see those better Oops. up again um, something else you can do is you can set the androscopic filtering and isotropic filtering, my bad, in here, and then you can disable it within Flash Mirror. That'll give you a few frames as well. Uh, down here, frame rate limiter. This is what you can set your frame rate and limit it to. I have mine at 45 right now. I'm going to go ahead and drop it down to 35 again. And power management, make sure it's set to prefer maximum performance rather than adaptive. And then apply changes. And you're good to go. That should be just about it. Uh, thing with config tweaks, like I said, it, it's something to experiment with. Don't rely on it. And if you if a change doesn't work for you, make sure you've before you make the change that you've made a backup of your original FXX config before that. And don't worry if you lose it and something doesn't work and you didn't make a backup. Just delete the FSX config, start up Flash Mirror again, and it'll give you a fresh new one. So. Keep that in mind, and good luck with the config tweaks. We'll see you guys in the next episode.